We start by considering the equilibrium position, and the mass in the centre of the square attached to the four springs which attach to each corner of the square, and a square has sides of length root 2a. We can then work out the distance between the equilibrium position, which is clearly at the centre of the square, and the corners of the square by using a right angle triangle as shown and Pythagoras' theorem. This gives us that the length c shown is equal to a. Now let's look at the situation when the mass is displaced towards one of the corners by a distance d. There are four forces acting on it due to the tension in each of the springs. Taking the directions in which these forces are drawn as positive, the size of F1 is A plus D minus A2 on multiplied by K. F2 equals A minus D minus A2 on multiplied by K. And for F3 and F4, we need to work out the distance that the string has been stretched. Looking at F4, we can draw this triangle relating the displacement D, the length of the spring at equilibrium A, and length of the spring now L using Pythagoras' theorem. This can give us the magnitudes of F3 and F4 as L minus A over 2 all multiplied by K. However, the components of those forces that are perpendicular to the displacement D will cancel out, and what we care about is the components of those forces acting in the direction of D. Because those forces act along the spring as shown at an angle theta to the equilibrium position of the spring, we can write that the components of these forces in the d direction equal to L minus A over 2 times K times by sine theta. And we can see from this diagram that sine theta is equal to D over L. Now combine these forces to work out an equation of motion for the mass attached to all four springs and use this to work out the angular frequency of the simple harmonic motion that it undergoes.